Hi, and welcome to this video on setting up Discord webhooks using the Discord API. In this video, I'll be setting up a Discord channel to receive commit updates from GitHub using Discord webhooks created through the Discord API. We would begin by creating a Discord channel to receive the commit updates from GitHub. Next, we create a Discord application and add a bot to it. This bot will be authorized to access the Discord API. We will then use Postman to create a Discord webhook using the Discord API and bot access token. With the webhook created, we set up a connection on HookDeck and then create a GitHub webhook to push commit updates to Discord. Finally, we test this setup by pushing an update to our GitHub repository. This will automatically post the commit message directly into our Discord channel. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. So in a previous video, we looked at how to set up Discord webhooks using the Discord web interface. In this video, we're going to be implementing the same setup, the same GitHub Discord integration setup, but using the Discord API to create a Discord webhook. Before we begin, let's go through the requirements and the steps that we will be taking to achieve the setup. So the first thing we're going to be looking at are the requirements. Um, you need a Discord account that you own, meaning that you have all permissions. You need a, a GitHub account with a repository that you can play with. Then a HookDeck account, you can sign up for one at this address. And also you need an HTTP client. In this demo, I'll be using Postman. Now for the steps, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a Discord server and create a channel. That's the channel that we're receiving our GitHub commit updates. We are also going to create a Discord application and add a bot to it. Discord bot accounts are a special type of user account that are dedicated to automation, meaning that you can use them in your scripts and automated workflows. We'll then create a Discord webhook using the API. Then we're going to create a hook deck connection to ingest, monitor, and asynchronously forward our GitHub webhooks to Discord. That's our GitHub commit notifications to Discord. We are then going to complete the setup by creating a GitHub webhook that triggers when a commit is made. That is when a, that is when new code is pushed to the repository, an event is going to be triggered, and that event is going to cause a webhook to be sent through hook deck to our Discord channel. Once we have all these steps complete, we will test and inspect the setup. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is create our Discord server. So let's create a server, create my own and for me and my friends. We're just going to leave this as a default suggested. The server comes with a default channel, but we're going to be creating a new one. So I'm just going to create a new channel called Webbooks Testing. We're going to leave this private channel toggle button on toggled or, or we will leave it off because we want this to be a public channel and click create channel. So here we have our channel. This is the channel that is going to be receiving our GitHub commit updates. The next thing we're going to do is to get a channel ID for this channel. Now, one thing we're going to be doing a lot in this tutorial is going to be getting a lot of IDs, a lot of values, a lot of tokens. So for that, I prepared this text edit document. As you can see, we need the channel ID. We need the client ID, but token. You don't need to know what all this mean right now, but as you go along with the tutorial, you're going to know what each and every one of these values stand for. We also have a bunch of URLs that we're going to be using and we're going to understand later on. But for now, the first thing we need to get is our channel ID. We need to get the ID for this channel. Now, if you right click on this channel right now, you're going to see this copy ID um, option. Now, to get this option, you need to turn on developer mode. I've already turned on developer mode, but I'm going to show you how to turn it on. If developer mode is not turned on, which is the default, you're not going to see this copy ID option. To turn on developer mode, come down to this cog icon down here. You see user settings. Click it. Then scroll and go to advanced. Advanced somewhere here. To advanced. And this is where you can turn on and off the developer mode. So to get your channel ID, this needs to be checked. And because it's checked, we can come to our channel, right click, and copy the channel ID. So I'm just going to save that here. So here we have the channel ID and the next thing we're going to do, let's check our steps. We now have our Discord server and channel. The next thing we're going to do is to create a Discord application and add a bot to it. Like I said, a bot account is a special type of account for automation purposes. So how do we create our Discord application and add a bot to it? The way to do this is to go to the applications page. That will be Discord slash developers for slash applications. So on this page, we can add a new application by clicking this new application button. I can just give your application any name. I will say my webhook 
app. Should be fine. Then click create. Now that we have the application, the first thing you want to do is go to the side menu, click on OAuth 2, click on general, that's the default page, then copy this client ID. You need to copy this client ID. So copy the ID and let's save it in our text file. So now we have the channel ID and the client ID. The next thing we want to do is to go to this bot link, click on it. This will help us add a bot to our application. To do that, just click the add bot button. It's going to prompt you saying that adding a bot gives your app visible live in Discord, blah, blah, blah. Just click yes, do it and your bot should be live. So yeah, we have a bot and this bot comes with a token. Comes with a token, as you can see, you can click to reveal the token, but I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. This is going to help us authenticate against the Discord API. So now we have the channel ID, the client ID, and the bot token. The next thing to do is to authenticate the bot. This bot needs to be authenticated before it can be given full access to the Discord API. To do that, let's scroll down. If you scroll down, you're going to see a bunch of bot permissions here. And the one we're going to need for our webhook is this manage webhooks permission. So check that. We have the manage webhook permissions. And as you've noticed, this integer appears here, it's a permission integer, and we're going to need it in authenticating our bot. So how do we authenticate our bot? The Discord OAuth flow has a URL. If you come to this page on the Discord API docs, there's this um, bot authorization flow section where you can see the URL, the OAuth2 URL that we can use to authorize our bot. It makes use of the client ID and the permissions integer. So I'm just going to copy this URL. It's going to copy it and paste it here. Then what you will need to do is replace the permission ID from the example, or rather the client ID from the example with your own client ID. So we're just going to copy this client ID and paste it here. Then for the permissions, let's go to our bot page. That should be here. Oh yeah, and copy this permissions integer, copy this permissions integer. So to click copy and go back to this tab and replace this one with the permissions integer. So the scope is bot because we are authenticating the bot. So let's load up, let's load up this authorization URL. Now, as you can see, we have now started the authorization process. We have this prompt that tells us to select a server. We want this for our server, the server we created. Click continue. Then the permission we granted is the manage webhooks permission. So all looks good. Just going to click authorize. And then I'm being prompted to verify that I'm not a robot. So let's just get that over with. Trains, trains, trains. This is a train. Train, train, train. This is a train also, I believe. Okay. Uh, still trains. Train, train. No, not train. Train is the boss. Okay, I believe this should do. Yeah, so I'm human and um, authorized. The bot is now authorized and the bot has appeared on our Discord page. Click here, we'll see the bot here. We now have the bot on our Discord page. So the bot is authorized and we can just close this, bot, um, this tab. So now that our bot is authorized and we have the bot token, we have the client ID and the channel ID, we can now use Postman to create our webhook. The webhook API for you for Discord is at discordapp.com slash API slash channels channel ID webhooks. Every webhook is attached to a channel so you have to supply the channel ID for the webhook you want to create. So I'm just going to copy this URL copy it and go to postman. Postman we're going to paste in our URL then we're going to replace this channel ID with the ID of our channel, which is this. So to replace this channel ID with ours. Okay, so that looks good. The next thing we are to do is to add the authorization header. So I'm just going to come to the header section and have authorization. 
there's just select authorization there and the format for the authorization header for bot for a bot is bot and the token the bot token that is the format for authenticating against the discord api using a bot so i'm just going to remove this placeholder take that out and go and copy my bot token good and paste it here so we have that in place the next thing is to provide a body now this request method is post so let's fix that so the post request method and we need to send a body along with the request so the body we're going to be sending requires just a name property and that's the name of the webhook there's also an optional avatar property but we're, going, we're not going to be doing that here so um in this tutorial rather you can do it you can have the option if you want but for this tutorial it's not required i'm just going to write uh, my test webhook for this so my test webhook and that should be good and let's just go through we have the authorization header we have the body our url looks good let's fire this request I'm just going to click send and we have a 200 status code meaning that all is fine i'm just going to raise this window yeah so here we have our response this is our response and the first time i did this i noticed there was no webhook url one thing that is very very conversant with creating webhooks is to get a webhook url and i discovered that there is no webhook url which was very very confusing because according to the um, discord webhook object let's go to webhook there we're supposed to get a url because we're supposed to get a url back but the good thing is that if we look at this response, it comes with an ID, the ID of the webhook, and it comes with a webhook token. And for Discord, the webhook URL has this format. Discord.com slash API slash webhooks, webhook ID, webhook token. So we can, we can easily construct our webhook URL from here. So I'm just going to copy this and webhooks, yeah, then get the webhook ID. My webhook ID is this value. We'll paste it here. And the webhook token is this token property. Book token. And let's paste that here. So here we have our complete webhook URL. It's good. I just put the token and the ID here for just for good measure. Okay. But this is our webhook URL. This is the Discord webhook URL for the channel. Let's go back to our steps and see the next item on the list. So we have created a webhook, a Discord webhook using API successfully. And now we need to create a hook deck connection to ingest, monitor, and asynchronously forward our GitHub notifications to Discord. To do that, let's go to hook deck dashboard. Just going to click on connections to create a new connection. And to create one, just click the create button at the top right corner here. For the source, I will need a new source, and that's going to be my GitHub because the messages are coming from GitHub. So I'm going to say this is coming from my GitHub repository. I'm really spelling repository wrong. See, three. Good. So we have the source name. This can be any name you want. Uh, destination also new, and I want it to go to Discord channel. I want to go to the Discord channel. So from GitHub repository to a Discord channel. You can also give this any name you want. Now, what's the destination URL for this connection? That will be our Discord webhook URL because that is where the messages are going to land. That's the destination URL. So we're just going to copy this Discord webhook URL that we constructed and paste it in here. So we have destination URL. For the rule set, I'm just going to say a rule set just to have a name. Oh, I need to click new. I'm just going to add a new rule set. And say a rule set. Just going to go with the defaults. So we have our source, which is a GitHub repository, the Discord channel, destination, our webhook URL, and the connection goes from our GitHub repository to our Discord channel. So we can click save to complete the process of. So now we have our connection, GitHub repository to Discord channel. And one thing we need to do here is to copy our hook deck webhook URL. This is the webhook URL we're going to be using on GitHub to set up the GitHub webhook. So we're going to copy this. Good. 
and it's better to keep clipboard but i'm just going to put it here yeah so this is our hook deck webhook url which will now represent our destination on github so the next step is to create a github webhook that triggers when a commit is made for that let's go to our github account we're going to be using this github webhooks practice repo you can use any repo you want as long as you have the permissions to commit changes to it to create a new webhook let's click on settings on the github repo then on the side menu click webhooks and click add a webhook or add webhook to create a new webhook in the payload url let's paste in our hook deck webhook url which is here and one thing you need to do is and this is specific to github and probably specific to some other providers but i've not confirmed you need to add a slash github to the payload url this will help discord pass the webhook payload coming from github correctly discord has a particular format that it expects a webhook payload to come as but github does not come in that format so for you to pass a github webhook you need to add this slash github to your payload url for the content type we're going to select json and we're just going to leave the rest as default no secret and we just want to subscribe to the push event which is the one that is triggered when a commit is made so let's click add webhook upon successful creation of a webhook um github is going to send a ping event and if you go to the dashboard if you go to the hook deck dashboard and you go to events you can actually see that event see github repository to discord channel there's an event but it's not the event that is going to trigger a commit it's not a commit event so discord is not going to receive this message in the channel to receive a message in the channel let us push a commit to this repository here at the root of the project type the ls command and this project is a very simple project just as a readme file so i'm going to open up this readme just contains a bunch of text and to change this file i'm going to remove some of the text just this even more text i'm going to remove it this is a repository i play with a lot for commit updates i just remove and add text now that i have some text out i'm going to go back to command mode and save this file then we run git status git add and git commit and say removed text oh i spelled commit wrong oh good now we can push so now that we've pushed an update let us inspect our process our setup the first thing we're going to do is go to github and see if we have it logged so i'm just going to click this github webhook and click on recent deliveries so this is the webhook that was fired for the ping event we don't have to bother about that but this is the one that we just pushed this is the one that we just pushed and if we go to our hook deck dashboard on the events page we see that we have another one this is the first one we had for the ping event but this is one we have for the commit event we click that you can see the attempt you can see details of the event here the headers but for a full view let's click this arrow to go to the main page here we have some metadata for the webhook we have the webhook headers and as you can see we are getting the push event for the commit we made and for a detailed payload view you can click go come to the body section rather and expand this root object where you can see all the details contained in the webhook payload now to verify that our setup really works let's go to our discord channel we go to discord and we come to this channel the webhooks testing channel you can see a github commit message that is just super smooth the github bot is being used by discord to post this message into this channel and if we click on this message i'm sure it can take us to the github commit yeah yeah we're landing on the github commit and there you have it we have been able to use the discord api to create a discord webhook and have it receive messages in a discord channel if you have gained anything from this video please remember to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on discord webhooks and webhooks in general happy coding